Good morning and happy Monday, friends. Today is April 6, 2020. I am missing your kids and you guys, if you're listening, so much. It's been crazy being at home and not being able to see you. Um, I am really trying to think of creative ways to continue to learn exactly like how we do in the classroom. Um, so this month we are talking about spring animals. So I am sending home some different packets that will support our readings and support um, concepts that we're learning about the next month, including vocabulary words. But I'm sending home, um, hopefully, a couple months worth of work. Um, I just wanted to kind of give a rundown of what the work is and what I'm sending. The packets are differentiated, so each one of your kids is maybe getting all of them. Some of your kids may be getting extra. Some of your kids might not be getting the same things because I really tried to figure it out to be the most um, independent for each of our kids' abilities. Um, that being said, if there's something that you see and you're like, I want to, I want to see this. I want this. Please let me know. I am. That's my role as a teacher right now is to provide you guys with whatever I can um, on the learning scale. And I recognize once again that not your job, um, and it's been crazy. But I'll be sending these out in the mail over the next few days. Um, and I plan to get some more goodie boxes to you guys that include markers and any other items you might be needing. Um, Chromebooks are still being figured out. I urge you to do the survey that I sent out. Um, I will be in contact with families. Hopefully we'll be hearing some more information about that soon. Um, but for now, I'll go through the packets. So your kiddos are going to be getting potentially um, work from Miss Denise that she made. Uh, they're differentiated as well. So you might be getting this one. You might be getting a higher level um, or difficult or whatever that looks like. Um, this is a more hands-on version like we know really well, Velcro, things like that. Um, and then you'll also be getting a lot of the paper side. So to start with, going back to our monthly learning packets, um, since we're learning about spring animals, you will be receiving the vocabulary words for this month. Um, those are all listed, going to be in the back of the packet. They have pictures coinciding with the vocabulary word. I urge you to, if you have an area that you're doing the learning activities, put those up. That's what we do in the classroom. So really activating, oh, a cub. And so that when I'm talking about a cub, we can really correlate as much as possible. Um, there's also cut and paste activities that all your kids will be familiar with because this is what we do in the classroom. Uh, there's math and English in here. Um, this will require scissors and glue. And I urge you, even though it's really tedious, to continue to build those skills and let them do it as independently as possible because it's so important that they're building those fine motor skills. Um, and that's what we do in the classroom. So you'll be receiving this packet. It will be separated with a uh, neat little, well, I don't even know what those are called. Um, you'll also be receiving a really short writing packet. This is gonna be for coloring more so. Um, coloring the cards, the numbers that you see. Um, that one will be in some of, I think all of the kids have that one. Um, You'll also be receiving cut and paste. I know that a, a bunch of you guys are either choosing to kind of go more cut and paste, less cut and paste. So I'm really trying to provide enough of both so that you guys can kind of figure out what works best for you guys in the learning environment right now. Um, and so this is numbers cut and paste. This is a lot. So I don't expect this to be done this month. Um, I'm giving you guys a lot of extras just to implement any extra time um, I do not expect this to be done by the end of this semester even. Um, we also have more supplies of matching, correlating. This one is colors. So this one is from Miss Bobby. Thank you, Miss Bobby. So she provided that one. She also provided shapes. Um, Miss Bobby as well. She also provided apple picking, working on writing. These two packets both work on writing, um, which is also really important for fine motor skills. So even if you have to do some hand over hand, um, which would be when you're coming in over the pencil, it looks so crazy. Um, 
that will support that fine motor ability for our friends. Uh, do not feel like you have to use pencil. We use pens, we use markers. Different shapes and different things really work on that fine motor skill. Um, lastly, I put some independent work in there, um, independent life skills, and some activities that can be included in the daily, day-to-day. Um, -day. And it gives you guys strategies of how to do it. And then there's also the skills list. Um, so this is just kind of some ideas. Like I said, this is a really great time to, I'm not as concerned about working with working with paper and pencil. Um, this is a really great time to work on bathrooming, um, eating with a fork, organizing the closet, folding laundry, picking up your room. Um, your kiddos are capable of so much, and I know at home they're not always willing to clean up their room, but if you're prompting little by little, pick up your clothes, pick up your toys, fold your bed, I mean clean up your bed, um, they do all of these things in the classroom. They vacuum, they mop, they sweep, they clean off tables, they pick up toys, they organize, they're capable of so much, and I really would suggest using this time to do that. Um, I will be working on some packets. I'm keeping the packets for myself as well, so I'll be working parallel with your students. Um, and that's the packet warm-up. I'm sorry that that's a lot of information. Let me know if you guys have any questions.